Form, your gender is no secret. You're either identified as a boy or a girl, and your world turns pink or blue. But for some, like Jazz, it's not that simple. Jazz is assigned as a boy at birth, but now identifies and lives as a girl. This was a picture of me when I was younger, living as a boy. Yeah, really? Fuck everything up, That's man. Kind of like, there's similarity. I tell people that I have a girl brain, a boy body. I think like a girl, but I have the different parts. We got married in 93, and Ari came in 95. Ari was two, and um, along came the twins. And I had three in diapers. It was overwhelming when we thought we were done. And sure enough, baby Jazz. So glad that he came. She came. The boy for sure. The first indications to me were very early on. Everything was pink, dolls, no girl at all. You know, if you gave her something boyish, not interested at all. I can't see First she was like, oh, it's really cute, but then it persisted. The older she got, the stronger it got, so. and I knew in my gut that this is more than a phase. I want to be a girl. That's who I want to be. It's who I am inside and out. You're a yeah. sick... Um... Yeah. I'm girl. Use a fucking little kid the and screw the fucking people up, was man. a very big one for me. I was able to wear the girl bathing suit. She wanted to wear a girl bathing suit that she loved and she always wore at home. I was so happy just to be myself. Happy birthday! Really, for the first time, we said to our friends, our community, society, that we were going to allow jazz to be jazz. Stupid. So last year preschool. Yeah, just fucking teen. fuck everybody up, man. Kindergarten was the happiest time for me. I was a girl, for sure. We know it was the right thing to do. Boy, I'll tell okay, you what, what, man. Puberty's coming along. Fuck everybody up, man. Please continue to be fuck them up, man. Really from a little kid, man. Issue, but we're not ever going to stop fighting for her and to explain things to people as necessary and to give her the right... Boy, I'll tell you that. what, what's the next... I thought that... What's the next gonna, fucking no, goddamn thing y'all no, gonna I fucking do? Wrong with me. I'm, I love myself. You're a sick fucking Four bitch. Girl Jazz Jennings is here. Hey, back to the very... Yeah, what's gonna happen the fucking day that somebody wants to try to marry you, a man? Well, I just... I always knew I was a girl right from the start. I was attracted to anything feminine, girly. I loved to prance around like a mermaid or princess. And I, I just knew I was a girl. It wasn't just that I was attracted to girly things, but I declared that I am a girl. And that was really the defining moment. Boy, I'll tell you what. I'm different. And yeah, make, they have to love make me. Sure, when I was make sure to have, have a good-looking person do it, though. I was diagnosed with what's now, now called gender dysphoria. And they were what told the to embrace me, fuck? To love me for who I am, and that's what they did. Gender dysphoria? What the <laughs> fuck is that shit? Let's go back to that birthday party that we just saw. What the you're five fuck old. is that you're shit? Still, you know, everyone thinks you're a boy in your community. Uh, your parents let you dress up. Uh, I actually wear a bathing suit that's a, a feminine bathing suit. Were you nervous going out to the party? It's your party. I mean, I was nervous, but I was just so happy because... It was the first time that I would be presented as a girl to all my friends and to the public. And it was really just the happiest day of my life, at least for the first five years of my life. <laughs> and, yeah, I just, it was, it was like... Yep. Yeah, make sure that you use a good-looking person to fucking introduce so it. next year, again, you've been living your life as a boy. Next year, when you start kindergarten, you actually go to school as a girl. Were you accepted by your teachers, by the community, by the kids in school? Well, at first, we actually received a lot of resi resistance from the school. Uh, they were adamantly opposed to the idea of having a little boy coming to the school dressing as a girl. So they didn't want me to dress as a girl, use female pronouns, or use the girl's bathroom. Luckily, I was able to use girl pronouns and wear girls' clothes, but I was never allowed to use the girl's bathroom until I was in fifth grade. What so the I often had accidents um, because I didn't want to go to the nurse's bathroom, and it was gross, so I would just hold it in. So, I mean, there was a lot of struggles with the bathroom at first, but 
I had to stay strong and get through it. And I so I guess that means any guy can just put on a fucking dress or something like that and go into the chick's room. I mean, I've definitely experienced bullying. Kids can be cruel sometimes, and they'll say things that they don't realize hurt someone else. And it's really upsetting that many of them just, like, don't understand and are ignorant. But if they're ignorant and just don't want to know, then they're not even worth it. <laughs> Boy, fuck people up completely, man. Even more challenging is talking to boys about love. Uh, do you have those conversations at all? With boys? Well, boys or girls. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. going to come up. Who the fuck is going to... Yeah. What mm -hmm. a healthy guy is going to want to marry somebody with a fucking dick? And at this age, dating is a big thing, and... It's something I've had to think about. Because I'm transgender, I have to look at it differently. Luckily, I'm not really into it as much as other girls because I'm not boy crazy. But um, I still have to be cautious because some boys out there won't accept me and could even hurt me if I, if I don't tell them that I'm transgender. So I really disclose the fact that I'm transgender. So at age 11, uh, Jazz entered puberty, which means your, the male hormones kick in. So you started taking medications. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through what you're doing in that regard? Well, when I was 11 years old, I started male puberty, and I was so scared. Like, my biggest fear was growing a beard or mustache. That was my nightmare when I was, like, three years old. So we got this implant, and it was something we knew we had to do because I, I didn't want to look like a boy. I wanted to stop the puberty. That's what the implant does. I have, as you can see, I have an implant right there in my arm, and that's, like, a little scar. Yeah, can you all see that? That's a, so they put that in every year or two? Yeah, every like a year and a half to two years, they'll put it in your arm and it blocks... Boy, what a surprise you're going to give a guy, man. You won't develop as a male. And, uh, the fears of changing when you don't want to, obviously, uh, can lead to you know, fairly big decisions. And some of those decisions are ones that adults always say adults should make. Um, I know that in your family's case, you guys work very well together, but I'd like to invite your mom, if it's okay, to come join us. Yeah. Jenna, come on up. Shit, mind. man. I love the support you're giving your daughter. It's wonderful. The insane are running the asylum. The woman she's becoming because of it. But these are big decisions. Mm -hmm. The inmates are running the fucking jail. It's very reasonable to have the parents involved. How difficult was it for you to accept Jazz's transition? Well, when she was 11, like she said, uh, she th started showing signs of male puberty, and it really was no choice because we knew what the statistics were, and there's close to a 50% chance that she would attempt suicide if we did not take the road that we did. 50%? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I did not want a dead son. I wanted a live daughter. And I knew that I would do anything Boy, fuck things up, man. <laughs> fuck things up, man. So what goes on over the next four years? What happens to make sure that you're still happy and that you don't have the physical changes? Well, right now I'm on hormone replacement therapy in which I take estrogen tablets uh, to help me develop like a girl. So I'll continue taking those for the rest of my life. And then I have a big decision to make because in a few years as I approach adulthood, I have to start thinking about the surgery. And it's something very personal and... It's not something that you say, oh, I want it right away. It's so you're going to have your dick whacked off or what? What the body. fuck's going to go it's on? A big decision I have to make. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. You get a lot of support. You were recently named one of Time Magazine's, listen carefully, most influential teens. So it's a great list to be on. What comes to... Oh, oh shit, man. You're putting yourself out there. You're exposing yourself, which I'm very proud that you're doing. What, what's your greatest hope? My greatest hope is that one day the world will be a better place where people could live in freedom and harmony and we could all just accept each other. So I guess if somebody has torture in their heart, they can go around torturing people, right? Well, you are a sick motherfucker, man. We could learn from there and move on from there and still just stay positive and hopefully advance as a society. You get lots of other friends. How the fuck do you think you came in this world, you dumb fucking cunt? A lot of transgender kids write me saying that they are struggling and they say that, you know what, Jazz, I need your love and support. Sometimes I even get kids who say that they're suicidal and they were about to walk in front of a street full of cars and then they thought of me and that's what really helped them move forward. Oh, and that shit, me that I'm man. doing the right thing by sharing my story and I have to continue helping other people.
and doing the right thing. Actually, I want to introduce you to somebody. Joy, could you turn us if you don't mind? Joy is a transgender man. <laughs> Hello to us about you. God damn! Hello. I want to... Fuck! I wanted to actually allow him to speak to you directly. Hey, what's going on? So, I am older than you, obviously. I'm 22 years old, and I've been transitioning for about two years. When I first came out as trans, it was a really scary... God you know, damn, my man! My mother was always supportive, but she was always uncomfortable with the fact of me turning into a male and losing a daughter. And I always had this emotional disconnect in an aspect with my mom because of my transition. Well, one day I was at home and my mom ran over to me with like tears in her eyes and she's like, you have to look at this beautiful girl. And she had her iPad and she shoved it in front of me. She's like, this girl is jazz. She's eight years old or however old you were at the time. And she kept going on about your beautiful story and about the Fucking beautiful story, and beautiful story, man. In my mind. You're a sick motherfucker. And me and my mother actually emotionally connected about my transition. You're sick the motherfuckers, mind, that's what the fuck you are. Of me transitioning was because of your story. And I wouldn't be just on the same wavelength with my mother if it wasn't because of you. And I know that you're a lot younger than me, but you inspire me. And because of you being yourself, you're going to give a lot of... Boy, I'll tell you what. ...to actually go out there. Because it's a scary world, and it's a scary thing the to be trans, so... I just want to... Inmates are running the asylum, be. man. They're going to make me cry. Shit, man. How much more fucked up <laughs> things are things going to get? Like you and other people, because everyone just deserves to be loved and accepted for who they are. God bless you all. Thank you very much. We can watch Jazz's new documentary series Wednesday night at 10 p.m. on TLC. For more information on being transgender, you can go to DrOz.com. We'll be right back. Very nice to see you. Are you often moody? You... Sick motherfuckers, man. Use Dr. Oz, man, a fucking goddamn whore motherfucker, to further destroy the ability of people to know which way to go or anything like that. You are a sick motherfucking rich goddamn whore. That's what the fuck you are, man. Not only do they, we have homosexuals now, now we have transgender. So what the fuck's next that's going to come out of the fucking closet on fucking Halloween? Now Halloween is 365 fucking days a year. You sick motherfuckers, you. God damn, what the fuck is next to screw up? Fucking the, the divided motherfucking states. This is Jim Bikeman signing off. This is 2015.